y'all welcome back to the channel so today we got a special request okay one of my one of my subscribers i want to say her name is mm but i'm not too sure her username on um youtube is e-m-e-m-y-o-u so girl this video is for you because you asked for it so i am delivering it for you okay so this video i'm going to show you guys all my tattoos and i'm gonna give y'all a backstory so i'm gonna start off with my very first tattoo that i ever got i don't know how old i was I, I had to be between the age of 13 and 14. i just know i was really really young and i actually didn't even tell nobody i was going to get the tattoo i just went and got it like i used to be cool i used to have two best friends my boy best friends was jahi and pat and i just loved them so much because they used to always stick up for me, yo. So my thing with tattoos, especially if I get your name tatted, like if I ever got your name tatted, just know I love you very deeply, okay? Because I associate, like, getting a, getting somebody name tatted is like, for me, that's like the ultimate showing you that I'm loyal. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing that you can do that's going to make me not fuck with you. But, you know, everybody have their breaking point. So anywho... This is my first tattoo, right here. Anywho, um, yeah, so Pat and Jahi, they was my best friends. And actually, I'm getting their, their tattoo covered up this year because I don't fuck with them. Bye. My second tattoo is this back tattoo. I'm going to insert a clip and I'm going to do a voiceover. <laughs> Ciao. So I was in a relationship with this boy, mad young. I don't know how old I was. I really cannot remember. I had to be like 15, 16, something like that. I don't fucking know. Can't remember, but I was really young. I begged my mom to come with me to the Bronx. <laughs> Where was the tattoo shop at? It was on... It wasn't Fordham. It was... Oh, is that the Bronx? Forgot the name of the... Yo. But anywho, it was in the Bronx, okay? My mom took me to get this boy named Tatted. I was so hyped. Like, I love him. This is my boo. This is my... His name was Leandro. And he is the reason why I do not mess with light-skinned dudes. Like, I just don't find them attractive. Well, I'm not going to say... That. I, I could find them handsome. Yeah, matter of fact, I do find them attractive. You know, you handsome, you fine. But that's why I draw the line. Child, I forgot this tattoo was a whole cover-up. So, I remember this tattoo cover-up. James had actually paid for this cover-up. Um, so, yeah. Got in a relationship with James. And he was like, girl, bye. I'm looking at no damn Leandro. Let's go to the tattoo parlor. We go. So that's what happened with this tattoo. But you can low-key still see the name through the tattoo. Like, this is a horrible cover-up. Like, I'm definitely going to get this fixed. Yeah, so that was that tattoo. Then my third tattoo was this tattoo right here that I got with my sister. It's actually a shooting star. It was supposed to be pink, but it looked red, honestly. So, yeah, me and my older sister, we got matching tattoos. And then, y'all know this tattoo is a cover-up, but initially it was my uncle's name. It said Caswell. Well, well. When I got this cover-up, honestly, I love it because... It's like, honestly, this tattoo now is a, my um, conversation starter. Like, people automatically be like, did it hurt? This tattoo so beautiful, great quality. Uh, uh, yeah, it better be great quality. I paid damn near $800 for this tattoo, for this cover-up. But it was by a, um, a well-known um, tattoo artist. He was on Black Ink and all that. So he is my tattoo artist now. Like, I'm getting more work done. But anywho, that's besides the point. Um, when I got this tattoo, it hurt so bad. When I tell you, I tried to tap out of the session, but he was not with it. He was like, listen, we're going to finish this tattoo. Like, no, you're not, you're not tapping out. I'm like, please, like, I don't, just leave it. I'm glad that I seen it through, though, because it's so cute. And this tattoo, I think I low-key got, like, the numbers mixed up on, like, my first, second, third tattoo. I really can't remember. But I, this tattoo right here, um... I had got done like at a tattoo party. Well, initially I had got done at a tattoo party. It was real blah. Then when I moved to Atlanta, I had met this tattoo artist named Stitch. And she fixed it up. And she added these two roses, which I think she forgot to color in this petal, honestly. But 
I'm getting my whole sleeve done over, so it's all right. And y'all already know my family. Got my mama at the top, Amanda. Got my older sister, Rosa. As you know, my mom and Rosa literally is hand in hand. <laughs> and you got my sister, Gwen. Then my brother, Isaiah. She literally spelled his name wrong. She forgot to put the S. So it's, I don't even know what they say. Isa? So they say I-A-I-A-H. Whatever. And then my little sister, Elizabeth. And then I got my niece and my nephew name, which is Sky, Eli, and my older brother, Andre. Because, you know, holy damn, you know what I'm saying? And then I got this tattoo as well. This is my favorite piece, honestly. But this, between this and this, these are my favorite. You know how they say beauty is like in the eye of the beholder and all that stuff. And honestly, I just didn't feel confident and beautiful at this time in my life. Like, real shit. When I got this tattoo when I lived in Atlanta, I was just like low-key going through it. Like, emotionally. You know what I'm saying? Well, not emotionally. Like, I don't know. I was just going through it, okay? I didn't feel like... I didn't feel pretty. I didn't feel like I was worthy. You know what I'm saying? So I got this tattoo to just represent. Like it, this tattoo just represents me in so many ways. Like, like I could look in the mirror confidently now and know like you that girl, Elaine. Like you're beautiful. You're pretty. Like what? Like <laughs> you're the prize. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know, this is supposed to be the pink nails. I know I love pink, but she didn't have like a light, light pink. So she just went like, I think it's like a fuchsia, but whatever. And that's what it is. You know, I love my perfume. <laughs> and it's just a vibe. It just gives Hollywood vibes, right? Like, so when Joe was first born, me and James went and got matching tattoos. I got Joe name and I got James name. And James, or James originally had got my name right here as well. We both got matching tattoos. But as time went on, it was like he never got my name tatted because the shit just faded so bad. Like, mine stayed. But his didn't take to the ink, so it's like it's really faint. You can't see it on his on his hand. I used to always complain to him, like, it's crazy I got your name tatted, da 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 da. You don't got mine. Like he literally had it, but like I said, it faded away because they just didn't go deep enough into the skin. So when we lived in Atlanta, he said he was gonna go get his uh, get a tattoo done. And then he came home and he had me, Joseph, and Aiden names tattooed across here. I don't know if he still got my name tatted or what you know i wouldn't feel any type of way if he covered it up you know shit was really bad between us and it is what it is i covered it up because honestly if shit didn't go so sour between us i would have kept his name like you know what i'm saying because like i told you anybody that anybody that i ever got tatted on me as far as a name i loved them really deeply okay like but like I said, everybody has their breaking point. And I just felt like, you know, this shit happens. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to dwell on it too much. But that happened. I just felt like, you know what? I'm getting this shit covered up. But I didn't want to, like, cover it up with, like, something crazy. I'm like, do you think you could put my son's name over it? And he's like, I got you. My tattoo artist was like, I got you. Like, what? I could put Aiden on that. I'm like, I don't know you're going to finesse it. And he, he did what he did. So let's say Aiden. I mean, low-key, I can still see that I say James, so I feel like I know what it looked like before it was um, Aiden. But it's it's all right, though. You know what I'm saying? Aiden is over his father, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, and then my next tattoo, I got the two-time logo, my uncle logo. Uh, two times. Honestly, I don't know why the tattoo artist put it like that. And I asked her to, I don't know. She just did whatever the fuck she wanted to do that day. But, uh, oh yeah, and I got my sister name tatted twice. I got Rosa. This tattoo was well over on um, like, like 15 years. And this is why go to a tattoo person that's going to give you good quality. Because this tattoo was like, you know, how back in the day you just want to go get a tattoo. Somebody having a tattoo party. So you're like, yeah, tat me up. But this side of my body, I'm not tatting up. Like, this is the only tattoo that would be on my right side of my body but my whole left side is getting done up period poo so this is going to be finished i feel like by this year i'm going to be tatted up crazy like that gonna be like girl if you don't stop okay, anywho i'm talking too much right so thank you guys for tuning in um matter of fact comment some tattoo ideas below I'm going to finish this tattoo and go towards down my back. Because, you know, once I get my body done, I have to look like 
<laughs> well, I am a baddie. Let me stop saying I have to look. I'm already a baddie, you know what I'm saying? Me doing all this is going to enhance the baddiness, you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. I'm about to get up off of here. I got to get ready for work. And today was so nice. Today is a good Monday. Like, I could have took the boys to the park if I wouldn't know it was this nice outside. But, yeah. Later. Love y'all. Like I said, comment some tattoo ideas. Comment what type of videos y'all want me to do. You know, but whatever.